Well, hello and welcome to Sweden, or upstate New York, as we call it this time of year. It's cold enough to feel like we are in Scandinavia. And look what I brought. Of course, this car is actually built in South Carolina, but it is the 2024 Volvo S60 T8. In Volvo parlance means it is a plug-in hybrid. And it is, I believe, perhaps the most underrated luxury sedan on the market today. They refreshed it last year. I drove one last year. I believe that was the black edition. They call this one the dark. You can see the dark accents here, although it's not particularly dark, is it? But you know what I'm finding about this car? Every time I drive it, I have to almost remind myself, A, that it exists. You never see them on the road. And B, how good it is. And this car drives with such finesse. It handles really well. It's super comfortable. It's got a lot of power. We're talking like 455 combined horsepower, 523 pound-feet of torque. It's got that electric urgency, 40 miles of all electric range. It looks stellar. I mean, they have kept this car looking super fresh. I love Volvo's designs. And I think this car perhaps best exemplifies that Scandinavian design language. This one here is an ultimate, so it's a top trim. It's got the Bowers and Wilkins sound. It's got a cold weather package. Uh, so it's got everything that this car offers. About 62.5, 63. Really not bad when you consider everything that it offers. I've got it running right now because it's freezing cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the vehicle's gone. We know the key's gone. So you can see the seats here are what they call a wool blend. And they're so comfortable. Volvo's seats continue to be spectacular. Um, you've got this awesome crystal shifter, which I think is one of the most unique partnerships we've seen in quite some time in the automotive world, where there are all kinds of uh, weird partnerships. But uh, yeah, this, and I, and I would pronounce it, except I know I'm going to screw it up, but it's really, really a nice touch. And then you've got enough space, you've got the sunroof, you've got a lot of the technology in here. If you wanna ding the S60, okay, it's certainly not gonna be for its drive. It handles beautifully, it's so smooth. The suspension is sumptuous. It's quiet in here and that electric burst of energy you get with the different drive modes where you can force it into electric, go to sport, a hybrid mode. It's got all of that. The problem is in, in, in where this car is not aging well is in the interior in terms of its packaging and its ergonomics. So for one, I have not been a big fan of the latest Volvo infotainment. This is something they've struggled with for a while. Um, they keep trying to tweak it. It's got Google built in, which I have warm to. I kind of like that part. So it's got, you know, a Google interface to it as far as the maps and the Google Assistant and that sort of thing. Except it's just kind of rickety and old looking and doesn't move around very well. And it's not super intuitive. It doesn't have a ton of features. And one of the things I really kind of miss uh, in a plug-in hybrid or any hybrid or electric car is some way to monitor the energy flow. And this car is really kind of void of that. You can't really find those graphical depictions of the power flow. And it's so smooth that literally sometimes I don't even know when I'm in hybrid mode or electric. I mean, that's how smooth and quiet it is. There is a gauge here on the right so you can monitor power charge and that sort of thing. And then to get into the drive modes. So this is another one of those ergonomic issues I was talking about. You know, normally you would have some sort of switch gear down here that's easily accessible. In this car, you have to go into settings, then driving and assist, and then hybrid power pure, and then a constant all wheel drive mode is up there as well. Also the pilot assist software continues to not be very good in that um, it doesn't like to keep a straight line on the highway. So it's constantly tugging at the wheel. It seems to want to hug to one side more than the other. So as far as these lane keeping driving assistance go, I don't think very highly of the Volvo version of it. Uh, so these are some of the downsides. There's no stuff at space here. 
I mean, there's very little place to put anything. You can see my wallet, <laughs> which doesn't have much in it. Uh, basically uh, fills up this entire space under the console here and it hasn't been cut for uh, modern phones, so there's no place to actually stuff it. Uh, and then there's no wireless phone projection. So yeah, there's definitely some aged bits here, but I believe this car is so good in the way that it drives, the way that it looks, that I might overlook some of those things. Um, if I really was looking for a premium sedan that kind of stands out from the crowd. You don't see many of these. I've always been someone who kind of appreciates that exclusivity in a vehicle. And uh, this one is kind of like a hidden gem. It's really pretty cool. And the 40 miles on all electric range is really, really good. And it charges super fast, of course, because it's a small battery. The port of which is right up here on the driver's side. It does not do fast charging as some plug-in hybrids do, which is kind of nonsense anyway. We'll head into the back seat for a moment. Because I wanted to show you, yeah, it's really, it's really well cut and spacious. And I love this wool blend, I really do. I mean, it looks cool and it's a nice alternative to leather. So yeah, heated seats back here too as part of the cold weather package. This is what it looks like from the back. Some of these steering wheel controls too kind of irritate me um, in that they're just not like anything else, so not particularly intuitive. And even though you're getting that mapping up there in the driver instrument cluster, the Google Maps, um, it's really not as configurable as it may look. So definitely a little bit of uh, uh, aging going on here where it shows inside, but again, the Volvo S60. Now, where does it go from here, you ask? Well, it sounds like they're about to build an electric version in China starting sometime in the next couple of years. But from what I read, it's not destined for the US, so I don't know where this goes next. You know, Volvo is electrifying and going all electric very, very soon. And um, whether this car plays into their plans or not, I'm not exactly sure. But in summary, if you are looking for, say, that midsize sedan, you've got 50, 60 grand you're looking to spend, you're kind of tired of the Benz, Audi, BMW thing. You want to kind of stand out, show your individualism. The S60 T8 Recharge uh, would certainly be something I would recommend taking a look at. Very well done, Volvo. Very well done. Until next time, Steve Hammes, Test Drive Now.